Hello, thank you for joining me. So, what I've determined, and this is our video number five in our series, uh, producing renderings. We have uh, a camera view of, uh, of uh, a portion of the house that we want to uh, want to take a rendering of and see what it looks like uh, with the sun coming in and whatnot here on December 21st, 2010, I think is what the date is set at, uh, with the sun streaming in the window on a very clear winter day. So, very dramatic there, but what I've done here with this camera view, if you remember in our other film, if we took a look at that, uh, the dining room is really kind of small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this wall, our kitchen wall, back a little bit in order to provide more room for the dining room. So let's go back to our second floor, and let's scoot in on this area over here. If we click off to the side, the camera will disappear, but we we'll always bring that back. What I like is I like to kind of keep this bathroom over here. Uh, I, maybe I'll move that wall back a little bit. And if you use your arrow keys, that's really kind of a convenient way of doing that. So if you click those arrow keys just a little bit, what it does is it moves uh, it um, by a certain increment. And uh, depending on resolution, it might be by the inch, or maybe by four inches, or maybe by the foot. So what I'm doing is I'm exceeding the boundary of my rooms and really don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to cancel. And what I've done here. So I've taken that room line and it's actually moved it off to the side, so I'm going to move that back. It's a rim separation line. And I probably should uh, maybe establish a relationship at the end of that line to the wall. And I could do that by doing something like that. And go to the alignment tool and probably aligning that. So if I go to my modify toolbar. Okay, we'll save the project. Let's click on that. And let's see if we can find the end point of that line. Uh, room separation line and let's go ahead and click that together. So now if I move that wall back or forth I probably will not get that error. So let's click on that wall and yes that room separation line kind of goes with it. I don't want to make my bathroom too small. It's already getting kind of cramped as it is. So let's do this. Let's go to my uh, modify tab and go to uh, my split elements and what I want to do is kind of separate this wall now. So I'm going to take this wall and I'm going to cut it Take this wall and move it back over here. And it's not going to like me if I do that. At least I didn't think it would, but it looks like it's accepting it right now. Um, I was thinking it might uh, decide that it doesn't, uh, the dining room will, not be, will no longer be defined. But let's do this. Let's take this wall and let's move that back uh, just a little bit further and provide us more room in the kitchen. So the kitchen's getting kind of cramped, but the dining room is getting a lot bigger. I like the way that looks. I'll probably go ahead and keep that. This wall is a little bit out of joint. Let's go ahead and do our uh, trim to corner tool. Click on these two items and get that wall joined back up again. And now we're in hour as right as we're in. If we want to take this wall again and maybe move it back, we could do that. So click on that wall, arrow keys. It moves it by, I think, uh, four inch uh, units. So this archway we have in here, getting kind of tiny now, we might choose a different size, but that's going to be for another video. So that's how you make some manipulations. That's uh, one of the advantage of uh, doing camera reviews. You can actually see what, these, uh, what the inside of your house looks like in some respects and make modifications to it accordingly. So before we leave this video, let's take a look at that. And yes, that dining room looks a lot better. And maybe I'll move those dining room chairs over to this side. We're not going to go through that kind of detail here, but what we want to do is jump into rendering here pretty soon. So thanks for joining me. Uh, join me for more.